I'm Ariana. And my name's Ryan. And this is I, I wear, wear Grippy, Grippy Socks. She wears no strings. I wear Grippy Socks. She's in the psych ward. I'm in the detox. A mental health podcast by two know-nothing millennials from a seriously non-clinical viewpoint. This episode may contain graphic content, so please be advised. And remember, thank, thank you, you for being, being here. here. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of I Wear Grippy Socks. Um, I'm actually super, super excited for this episode because we have my roomie and, of course, always number one in my heart, Bestie, on the podcast here with today. So I'm really excited. So you guys are going to be able to get to know him. As always, we're just going to start with, how are you feeling? How are you feeling, Ryan, today? I am feeling, um, I don't know. I've been feeling better. That's good. I mean, no, I mean, like, I have felt better, like, as of I don't feel, like, I haven't been feeling that great today, but I feel better, I guess, as of mm, 30 minutes ago. Okay, that's, you know, in the moment, we got our high highs, right? That's right. Hell yeah. All right, and I guess, what can I say, Rosby, how are you feeling today? Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me, first off. Uh, Feels, how do I feel? I feel kind of ecstatic, happy, and anxious. Uh, all of the emotions wrapped up into one. That's true. That's true. Hopefully, we'll be able to dive a little deeper in this episode. Maybe get to get get a little more um, below surface level. That's right. You know, we'll see. But um, I am personally feeling today. Uh, I'm I'm actually pretty neutral. I'm feeling mixed emotions. My uh, my mom went to England. She's officially in uh, England. Yeah. Going to be gone for a whole month. I don't know what the tribe's going to do without her. It is, it is weird. It's very, Shout out very to Teresa strange. if you're listening. Yes, we love you, as always. But, That's right. So it's going to be an interesting week, but That's right. we got this. We're going to do great. It That's is. right. It's going to be great. But actually today, so we kind of wanted it to... Let's first get to know you. So let's let's hear a little bit about oh, you, Rosby. here it goes. Here it goes. Okay, so well, about me. Uh, so born and raised in Florida, I am... Almost 27. Turned 27 in March. Uh, come from a really big family. Um, I'm currently in nursing school. Hey. I'm ecstatic for that, you know. Uh, eventually I'll get done with that. Uh, used to be an ex-cheerleader. I cheered in high school, <laughs> cheered in college. That's actually where I met um, Ariana. Go FGCU. Um, go, go Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty much me in a nutshell, I guess. You know, yeah. Small town boy. Big dreams. That's right. <laughs> Literally the original. That's right. I know it's kind of weird that we, you know, started, grew up together pretty much in the same town pretty much for our whole lives and didn't inter, you know. I mean, there's goal. probably opportunities. I mean, like, it's kind of crazy. We went to the same elementary school for like a year. That was like a minute. But we didn't know each other. And then, you know, like, then comes middle school, awkward time. Um, and then there's high school. And then I met you in high school. And then, you know, inseparable since, you know. Mm- it's crazy. It's time. Time has Shut really it gone. down. Yeah. I know. The rest I know. is history. I know. Um, so I guess I kind of wanted to start it. So we wanted to bring in and talk about today something that I think is um, a lot of people are bringing up and at home or maybe even more in the recent years and it's becoming more okay. But we want to talk about like sexuality and what that means and like how we identify with that. And I thought... Um, hopefully we'll have Rosby on again to also talk on a lot of future topics as well. But I felt like yeah. it was a good topic to bring you in and discuss with you because I feel like you have a story, uh, quite a story. And I, I, I always feel so, I want to put a premises out there first too. Like I feel like always talking about people's sexuality and how you come out and how you talk about things is it, we're still learning, I think, to how to talk about it. I think um, we're not where we need to be with, you know, people being accepting. But I think each person has such a different story and such a different, you know, you just, you got to, uh, like, respect their, their, you know, their boundaries. I don't know if that's said right or not. Or what, what do you think of that? No, that's fine. I guess boundaries is a good word, you know, where, where they feel comfortable, you know, talking about stuff like that. It's, it's a very touchy issue for uh subject for uh some people yes including myself (laughs) so never as ariana knows i guess um it was weird because we have been talking about doing this episode and i really haven't wanted to do it because i've never been very comfortable or very open with my sexuality and so i wanted to i wanted to lay down before 
we started recording and I was listening to music trying to like clear my head and then that song Jumper came on mm -hmm. and you know I wish you would step back from the ledge my and it's basically about a guy who jumps off a bridge because he is gay and honestly I feel like I related to that very hard because a lot, not many people know but I have been sleeping with men and with trans women for quite some years now and honestly it is one of my biggest secrets and I don't know how to process it yeah I like how like I mean like it's inter it's interesting how you said secret and I don't think that you know sexuality should, should be a secret it should be something you should be you know open about and be okay you know expressing yourself in whatever way you see fit if it's not hurting anyone right um, right but yeah i hate that i mean i'm trying it's, to it's very interesting you said that you that's know? why we're here you know I'm, I'm here to learn from you rosby i'm from i am not i know pro. you're <laughs> from you know small town i'm from a small town bible belt it's just like not i feel like it's not super talked about and not like super accepted in you know those world. areas i guess i would 100 percent. I, I don't know i feel like i don't know the, the sexuality at least i knew from where i've come from is like i also like grew up in the theater like always being in the theater so like people being like lbgtq community was never like for me at least like a, a thing to ever question like it was just always accepted so it is definitely it's such a weird like knowing also you know the stories where you both come from and that kind of thing and just it, it's just it's crazy just the way I was you know the comparison of like you're saying the towns and the way you're raised and you know how people process it so it's I don't know it can be it can be I don't know hard I guess I don't know what what, what your experience really like I don't know if you want to touch base on your experience or uh, like yeah at some point yeah but um yeah, quick bad. I just want to know what you guys think uh about sexuality what is sexuality what does that mean to you guys what does that mean I don't know. I guess it's a good question. I guess. So, what do you? Who, what does it mean when I say what is your sexuality, or how would you express your sexuality? How I don't know. What are you coming in here with the hard hitting questions? I don't know. I just bro? like I you know. know I just want to know. Means. To me, it's like who you have sex with. I okay. Guess. Okay. I don't know who I you have sex with. That's. I mean, I that's guess. a valid. That's a valid answer. I know? guess. Yeah, your sexual. Well, sexuality. There can be like. That can be, uh, that's a hard, I think multiple levels what like your sexuality is because, you know, you, you have to have the, like a sexual self. Your being is a sexual self, like you are sexual with yourself. So that's part of your sexuality, your sex appeal, the way you look, the way you feel. Um, that's part of your sexuality. But then there is also the part of actual, I think, physical, like who you are mainly um, lusted towards, I would say. I, I think that is a hard question. I, I'm definitely more on the like, you know love who you love for sure but like sexuality is a hard one because sometimes i don't i don't know how do we i don't know that's hard one. how yeah. do you justify i see that? i like i like what you said um i think it is a spectrum of different aspects of sexuality uh, emotional physical mental um all that stuff wrapped up in one um but i actually googled <laughs> sexual orientation is that what you've been that's doing what i was over i was over there? googling and going making sure that you know i give so you guys rude. a you good <laughs> paying attention i have uh but i just wanted to give the viewers you know the listeners a good valid like you know definition that i found okay you know it's, fair enough it's a dot org you know always trust those dot orgs okay. it's kidshealth.org and they classified or for, <laughs> for adults you know depending on your level sexual orientation is the emotional romantic or sexual attraction that a person feels toward another person and there are many aspects and several types of sexuality there is mm -hmm. um heterosex you know our common heterosexuality male female um there's homosexuals there's bisexuals and there's even asexuals um do you guys all know what those all mean i believe yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. maybe well maybe you should just touch base briefly on them I don't know if you want to, like, you know, you know just someone in out there's not uh, something. Well, heterosexual aware. usually tends to be, you know, a male-female kind oh, of couples. Sure. That's, uh, you know, our, our typical, quote-unquote, normal um, sexuality. <laughs> society um, norms. Society norms. Um, there's homosexual tend that tends to be, you know, male-male, female-female um, kind of relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's bisexuals, those who, you know, tend to uh, have those sexual attractions to both male and females. Um, and then there's asexual who don't have, who don't really have a, don't, don't really like uh, care for sex. Uh, they mm -hmm. just go for more of the, 
the romantic feels for oh. a person, not necessarily sex. Right, right. And, and though that website does not also include pansexual, which I know is also now mm-hmm. being used more and more, uh, I feel like, common, but like pansexual, like there's no like a, a specific lust factor. For, it's like you lust after everyone, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> pretty much. I guess someone might make an argument that I would fall into that, but I, I think part of my problem is... I have never, obviously I've never been open, you know, and I've hit, keep kept it hidden because I just, I figured life is easier if people think you're straight, you know. Um, Agreed. I'm not really cut out for, you know, I'm, very, I'm sensitive. I was like, I'm not going to really open myself up to, so I, you know, I kept it under wraps, but it, it's been going on for quite some time, quite some time that I've, but I think obviously because like I, you know, I haven't been able to be open about it. It's led to, you know, some not great experimenting. You know, not great. I, I put myself in situations that weren't necessarily enjoyable. I guess the safest with random people. You know, and safety is the right. most important. And I think it is good. Once again, disclaimer. I guess for the whole episode and anything with sexual content, obviously, like consent is the number one. I think thing and any sexual activity that goes on and um, that it has such a big, I think an effect on how a moment can be. And that's why, I don't know. I know I'm the kind of outlier here and I, I, I've been with, you know, my same partner for a long time, but sucker. Yeah, I know. But I definitely, I, you know, there's been times where I've definitely questioned, I would say my sexuality as well. I think women are absolutely beautiful. Like I think their bodies are stunning. And this is, I think where it's also hard when you are trying to figure out like your sexuality is what it, is it, is, am I truly like, like lusting? You know what I mean? Like, do I want to, yeah. do want, I want to do it? Or is it like, like that in she's that moment, just kind of yeah. just admiring. I think we all admire, exactly. you know, both Beautifuls male and females. Are, yeah. Like um, we have an beauty is beauty, no matter male True. or female trans. Like it, it's just, if you see a beautiful person, that's just, they're just beautiful. It's like me. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess depending Appreciate on the person. <laughs> um, um, but I also think like the word we're, the word we're looking for is sexuality is fluid. Uh, I yeah, think yeah, that yeah. Yes. Um, sexuality Whoa, a um, sexual fluid. It is fluid. Huh? You know, it's very fluid. <laughs> um, there should be fluids. Uh, there should be lots of the, fluids. Depending on the situation, the people around. Right. Sometimes you know you might, you might be under their influence. Right. Your sexuality tends to you know shift right. or right. fluctuate. Or fluctuate. Makes sense. Depending on the people who are around you, or people who are open to those kind of experiences. Um, but I think also over time you tend to learn more and more about yourself right. and you tend to experiment and try different things and who knows, you might like it. Um, and that might scare you at first. Like, True. is wow, I just had sex with the same sex partner um, and now I'm questioning, you know, my entire sexual identity have, at that point. Have you, uh, have you ever slept with a woman? Can um, I ask you that? Wow, going, <laughs> full wow, full straight to the point there, damn, uh, no, I have not technically had sex oh with a woman yet, yeah, I'm so technically, where's it called, where where call it a gold star, yeah. I think, yeah. I think he a gold that. star, oh, well, if you haven't, if I have not said this yet, I am, um, gay or a homosexual, um, Again. Well, how do you know that? I mean, um, if you haven't I, tried, if you haven't slept with a woman, how do you know that for sure? I think, you know, there's also, like I said, there's so many aspects of sexuality, right. I was, going over some of these uh, different types of sexuality and there's a type of sexuality where you can be physically attracted to a sex but only be a romantically attracted to another. Right, so right. you can like have sex with uh, females, uh, sorry, have sex or vice versa, have sex with females uh, but only want, want romantic feelings with males or vice versa. But do you, or, well, I guess it just depends on the way. Because I was gonna say maybe though that is just what the the pressures of what society expects you to have, and so you want to just pretend that you're having that kind of relationship just I'm, to push force that agenda. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Like I, I feel it like could the, push push or drive those thoughts or or make you want to pursue those kind of things. Yes, but I think sometimes you can kind of get a bond with someone or a romantic feeling for them. It might be just be a, a special kind of bond that you feel like you could like see yourself with that person for the rest of your life but not be sexually interested in that person i mean there are people who actually do that who right. actually are, who are in those kind of relationships um but again it sounds nice really i mean i mean yeah want to worry about you know 
sexual performance, you know, that is a big not one doing, for me. not doing good, or not, or you know, not lasting as long. Uh, that's so. Yeah. That I mean. Well, wouldn't that be in the? Couldn't that go in the terms also of like the being, um, like one, you could be either be swingers or having an open relationship. Wouldn't that be, I guess, along on those those yeah, lines? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've been approached by multiple swingers <laughs> <laughs> over my lifetime, and uh, you know, just never really dove into it. Uh, but you know, Why not? I mean. I don't know, maybe the time wasn't right. Yeah. I wasn't intoxicated enough. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean. One time I met this dude and his wife off of Craigslist. And we, I bet Good old days. Wife. Wow, yeah. the Craigslist days. Right, yeah. Aaron, Aaron doesn't know about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way back <laughs> when. Before there was Tinder, there was Craigslist. Uh, Craigslist was legit. I was on Craigslist. I'm not going to lie. Wow. I, was like, I don't know TikTok what they're talking no, about. No, I do. I know. It's funny because no, Ryan will be my witness because I literally have actually once when I, I've messaged... <laughs> Once or twice off of Craigslist. Thank you very much. Oh wow! Okay, I hold my own uh, in this sexual ring. Okay, maybe yes. I was a nervous. dark side. <laughs> you okay, dark dark side. no, you I never just, made up. Yeah, you were nervous. Uh, I, yeah, it's probably the sole reason though why I was actually saying this though because you know as as both of you know my anxiety levels like way too high half the time. That's half the and fun though. That's but then that, that's get, why I think I if you're gonna get murdered. I don't think I've ever approached that. Me. That is that's, that's always scary. an excitement. My heart's fun. kind of exactly. pounding the entire time we're gonna get Is he drunk. choking me to yeah, choke me yeah. or is he choking me because I'm liking it? <laughs> Am like, I gonna get trapped right now, you know? To me that's what makes always life thought, exciting. Yeah, for sure. I'm definitely a thrill seeker. Uh, you know, no, that's scary. I that see I don't like that. My anxiety goes like tenfold. I'd be like, oh my God, this is gonna make the sex also that much better too. That's true. I mean eventually though you just get used to it and it's no longer even like and something that you think, think twice about. about it yeah yeah it's just like a, it's, a, it's, a, it's so crazy yeah it's just so weird like so opposite of my whole life experience i know that is very odd but you know we're out here maybe one day i have quite a, i guess shout out to my man but you know we because a little vanilla but we do add spice i'm we on a spice okay i'm gonna be out there but it's also because Mrs. of what Dash. society what society spice. has like proclaimed what is allowed like like sure. in a straight heterosexual male like obviously like you can't like butt stuff like that's like a hell no oh, i'm not so don't annoying. say that can i not say that oh is no that you gotta try the butt stuff oh, no. that's what i'm saying <laughs> It's a life changer. Yeah, I'm it sorry. Is. It truly like, is. Dude, stop being, <laughs> I mean, people out there, if you're listening, stop being vanilla. Go honestly, try it. Yeah. Straight people, specifically straight men, try it once. If you don't like it, don't try it ever no, again. Okay, 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 you're a nurse. Where is the male's the G-spot? The male's G-spot is called the prostate, and it can be stimulated by your fingers, actually, but uh, even better with, you know, other male parts or other parts, you know, female parts, too, you know, whatever oh, parts drugs. you like up there. Or toys. Uh, toys. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you literally could have or could achieve a higher orgasm. Honestly, yeah. I'm I just bet. saying. No shame. Scientifically no speaking. No shame in my game, really. No mm. shame at all. Scientifically speaking. Oh, yeah. For science. That's why <laughs> for I science. It. Yeah. Um, sexuality, uh, it's a tough journey sometimes for some people, um, especially if you're not of the what we call the normal sexuality. Uh, uh, for me, myself, uh, coming out was a very difficult thing for me um my family is still kind of getting to getting used to or or coming to terms to with it or you know i don't know it's very difficult uh come from a very religious family and so uh they don't necessarily hate gay people but it's something that they kind of joke about or kind of like you know look down on sort of in a way um i always felt like growing up that i kind of like let them down for being gay, even though I had no choice, because I I would have chose being straight, because like Ryan said earlier, it is a very much simpler, easier life. You can kind of just fit into a mold, right? Um, right. And so that's what we all kind of want to do in life is kind of fit into a mold, so we don't 100%. stick out. Um, but uh, sexual, I don't feel like you have you don't really it. For me, I feel like it wasn't a choice because if I had a choice, I would be straight. Right. Uh, I gotta but say, I'm, yeah. hold sorry. on, I just gotta say I have the utmost respect for you. Oh, for thanks. because I you know I texted my parents earlier and I just was like yeah I'm about to talk about some stuff on the podcast well I texted my mom and uh, you know she she was pretty cool about it but I it's tough dude I was straight up balling earlier honestly so I get dude yeah it I mean like it's just I mean there are the good times and the, the sad times of the whole journey I mean probably one of the best 
scariest, saddest times was coming out. And I actually came out to Ariana when I was in college. And at the time, I was still trying to figure things out. I thought I still uh, could see myself with the girl, pursuing a girl. And so I remember just uh, being with Ariana. Just We're just chilling in the college like we usually do, you know, doing our thing, our college thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just remember just feeling like I could trust her and, you know, come out to her. And I couldn't even physically, like, speak it or say it. I had to, like, text it on a computer. Oh or I think God. it was a phone. I don't yeah. know what. I, yeah, I think it was either my phone or my computer. I texted, hey, I think I'm bisexual. And I just remember her just, like, you know, just texting. And, like, just, she actually didn't say anything. And she just gave me a hug and said, you know, I'm okay with it. Like, damn, I, didn't I love you hug. no matter what. Like, it's just, thank you for, <laughs> like, I think I just felt very, you know, appreciative of having her in my life at that point in time. Because I was just, you know, going through a lot. Um, yes. It was actually school and stuff. It was yeah. a nice moment, and I will say, like, I think though, why also it has been also obviously an honor to be your friend, but even even such that's such a big pivotal moment to to have, and I think that's why like you get to choose how you you know it, it want to come out. I think there's a part of that, and when you're ready to come out, that's it's I don't know. I feel like that is it's a big thing because I, I I wish it wasn't such a big pressure on society, but like. Like you said, the molds are still so there and like trying to like force an agenda or trying to be someone that you're not, it can be exhausting and like to just feel like, I feel like seeing you in the last couple of years and you really becoming more your like authentic self, like, and I don't know, I feel like you've been more embraceive and, and I know you're still, I think, you know, got more still time. Still figuring it out. Exactly. Really and, and, and that's hard. And <laughs> we have a whole lifetime of figuring it out, I guess. That's true. Yeah, but I... I just, that's why, I don't know, I feel like I always feel like such an advocate for the LGBT community, and I don't, I sometimes question my sexuality, but, you know, I'm showing it. Go for it. Yeah. Take the dive. I'm not, I'm not against Take it. Take the swim. I'm you not. only live once. I'm I'll try anything it. once. Exactly. That's I'll why, you know, you know. anything once. Okay, yeah, I agree. Multiple everything times. Once. Sometimes. To, then I don't like it, ever try it again. Once is sure. like, you, you know, if you only try it once, you might think, you know, it's not a good example of if you like it or not. No. So sometimes you gotta try things multiple times. Mm. I think for me, like I started to because you know I grew up going to Catholic church, and then, and you know they're real, you know they ain't they ain't vibing with the the homosexual uh, behavior. I will say the agenda. Yeah, they ain't unquote. vibing with the mm-hmm. agenda. And then I think like you know I started thinking differently. Just I just started becoming more open to life and its experiences. And it has led me on an interesting journey, I will say. But I really, I don't know if it's just the time we grew up in, but or the area. I, I don't know if I can blame. But for me, I definitely feel the same way. Like, I feel deeply, you know, like flawed almost. Yeah. I've been so worried. I mean, I've been on Grinder. I have blocked you uh, from the app multiple times. <laughs> Every time I re-download it, because I'm like, I don't want Rosby to know I'm on here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't want wow. Rosby to know, so okay. I always block Fair you. enough, fair enough. But you can leave it. Swipe right. I, yeah, I think what... I, yeah, I agree with you. There's, there's a... I think it's how we grew up and the time we grew up in. Um, also, growing up in the church, they, you know, you're taught very young that being gay is a sin and that it's bad right. um and so i spent most of my childhood just praying and praying and like, trying to pray the gay away and just and, like crying emotionally just why would god do this to me like why me like like why you make this so hard for me um and oh. it was a very like, like middle school <laughs> was very depressing for me because i was still trying to figure everything out and i was still like so depressed with my body my sexuality it was you know it was a lot uh I, I got. I came through it. I got through it. When do Things you think, got better. When do you think you knew though? Like when? Uh, you, like I, think I, I had know, like I glimpses of it, like in middle school, like fourteen, thirteen. Puberty. Like, I saw like porn, and that was kind of interesting. That kind of opened my door, opened my eyes to what does, it, does all gay does. sex <laughs> was. And then um, I kind of tried to, you know, be straight and date girls, and I tried to focus on that. And so I heavy, heavy chase girls. Um, freshman year of high school sophomore year of high school chase girls a lot uh but you know it just didn't feel like you know right not, yeah right i guess in a way it just didn't feel like you know the attraction wasn't all the way there i i wanted a relationship but it, I, didn't, I don't think it wasn't a a physical attraction to them it was more like a mental romantic attraction to them um but yeah 
I feel like that's, oh, I think we've talked about in the past, I think, and I know it's kind of something with you as well, the, like the pornography thing and the way that we're introduced to sex, I think as a whole is also um, interesting. And I think it also molds on, like, it just affects a lot of, like, as we get older, like, like figuring out our sexuality in the, like middle school and how sometimes though, how damaging sometimes I think though porn can be but i don't know if that has anything really anything though like stemming with sexuality or not honestly i i don't know see that's i've I've had difficulty processing my behavior i believe also because i think it would be easier if i really did i don't i don't know that i necessarily feel like attracted to men i feel like men are just more readily available and like DTF, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know, like, if it's... Yeah, men want sex, you know? I, mean, we're more, like, I think we're, more, we're not more sexual beings than female, but I feel like uh, yeah, guys, no, we, don't need, we don't need the, the emotional the emotional exactly. attachment. We can go in, get out, and go about our business, whereas I feel like most females want that romantic That's why we attraction. like our toys. Um, I mean, you probably get the names <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Kids Rob, Joe, Chris. I got them all. Got them all. Uh, you what keep them happy. <laughs> um, but no, I, that's that's what I think. Yeah, you you know, I think that's pretty factual. Men are more readily available. Um, but honestly, I, to men. I hope no one's listening. To this. I, hope, <laughs> I, hope, I hope my mom's not listening. To this, but men give unbelievable head. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> bro, it's like other. It's otherworldly. It makes more sense. They know your part. I feel, I mean, I feel, yeah. I mean, I feel like better girls than probably any think woman. of a blowjob as more of a job, like something they don't Straight really. Up. It's like you know, it's part of the girlfriend gagging wife up. duties but they don't really want to do it as gay men are like they just really love to do when it I, I guess not me personally but when I'm just... I was um, when I was using you know there were a couple of times where men would pay me to you know fellatio me then, and, the, and I was like this is that blows my mind the I, other way around I'm thinking about becoming a male escort possibly as you as you know I'm very attractive <laughs> oh wow! This head okay. just got ten times bigger. I swear, and not that one. <laughs> you know, you Both of them, honestly, at this point. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. You don't Stroking think... his ego. <laughs> this feels good to him. Bro, chill. I'm trying to joke through a very fucking traumatic conversation right now. You must have missed me. Balling. I didn't miss that part earlier. I, I would have felt like you were more human if I saw you cry. Bro, I was going oh. through it, man. But I, I definitely that know. song Trust because me, I honestly, know, I I've thought about because when I, especially when I live back in my small town, now that I've moved, you mm-hmm. know, whatever, my parents have to deal with, you know, everybody else's opinions, not me. But True. it's I, there have been times that no, there have been people. One time I was on no, there's probably been a couple of times I've been on Grinder talking to people, and that you know you send them a couple pictures or whatever, appropriate or not appropriate. And then, uh, like, they tried to extort me. They were like, you need, gotta pay us money, you know, we'll out you to your friends and family. They put up my Facebook. That's scary. I erased my face. So I'm trying to, you know, be more open because the odds are that I will not be able to hide it forever. Yeah. And honestly, I had an ex-girlfriend who outed me to a lot of people in my hometown. And I'm not gonna lie, that was very upsetting. I feel like that was very upsetting. Talk to some creeps. You know, that's that's not that's She's not a trifling good. ass. Uh, if you attract some really untasteful people, that could be it. You know, I don't, I, I, but also know, I, I feel like Grinder is not the best place to I was, meet. I was gonna Whoa, say I was he talking needs, about my girlfriend needs, like, on this one. I mean, well, yeah, I, didn't meet her on I mean, yeah. that's good too. I mean, but you can't no, find some so mean, meaningful relationships on that's all why of that. Here, me. it's like because I'm For trying sure. to be more. You know, if I'm more open about it, then I would be more prone to. Okay, Finalized. maybe I'm going to hang out with someone. You know, Actually, right now it's like, bro, I'm going. You know, I'm. I will say situation. I'm going to hang out with someone. You know, we in and out. I actually have a question for you. Okay, a scenario like okay, so you're in a club. Okay. Um, I was actually in a gay club a couple of weeks ago. I missed this. Do tell. Where was this? Where was this? A couple of weeks ago. Mm. In Sarasota. Mm. Oh, it's probably went to the one. Yeah, the one. That's in the Sarasota. only one. The, uh, yeah, that's what the one. It's horrible. Was it? It's horrible. That's my first time. That one. Smoky. They could smoke in the bar. But it was weird because I was there with a girl, two girls, 
Because great girls always feel on. comfortable at gay bars. Somebody was like, are you straight? And I was like, yeah. You said, yeah. Because yeah. you were well, standing next to the girl. You could have had free drinks. I know, that's the place yeah. you're There was a dude Damn. just in there, like, in a, a man thong, just like, Damn. I, I didn't know it was a, you know, I didn't know it was a gay club at first. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I've never really go. been, you know, I don't really go out. We don't even, you know, have bars back home, really, that I would go to. I didn't know what. And then I kind of, you know, I started putting two and two together. That guy was like, are you straight? And I was like, what do you, what does it, what does it matter? You know? But then he like, I was like, yeah. But then he like, <laughs> well, he went to walk away and he like put his arm like on my shoulder, you know, like. You like the affection. He was spitting game. He was you, you just shutting yeah. him down. He wasn't my type. Fair mm. enough. You could have got a free drink or something. I know. Pee pee touch. It wouldn't feel right. <laughs> <you know? laughs> just a little. Like, just a tiny one. Make him feel better. You know. Wait, wait. Like, so what were you saying though? I completely interrupted your question. Anyway. I. Uh, oh yeah, the scenario. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah with uh, club, the club. club. Uh, um, would you typically, if a guy approached you, and was like, hey, like come back to my place or if a or would you pursue a female or i don't would you know actively pursue or let someone pursue you that guy being and that person being a guy you know what i mean like i don't know what, option a or b the guy i don't or the know girl. i feel like if i feel like anytime i've been you know switch teams fully mm -hmm. It's been in a very, I've been in a, uh, there was one particular goal and, you know, I don't know that I would be like, if someone walked up to me and like, you know, started talking to me, I, I don't know how I would necessarily react to it. So you wouldn't pursue... I'm looking just to... Would you pursue it with the guy? The guy was like totally, hit, well, a guy that was know. attractive and totally hitting on you. Would you pursue it or would it just be... Uh, I don't know, no, maybe. Be just be now that I'm talking about it, damn, like, I'm trying. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm trying to just think, get a feel for everything. What are you, you know? getting at? How would you classify your sexuality? What would you say uh, I don't know. you're pansexual? I don't know. That's bisexual. It, it really. Because. Uh, I mean, probably more pansexual because that, like, that would include more. Uh, I guess so. A realm of more people. Part of me wonders if I just, like, have. Um, a problem Your sex and will just sleep with pretty much anybody. I mean, and then more. But I don't know if I'm just in denial. I don't I mean, know if I'm also if I'm just sex in is denial. good and it's it's meant to be pleasurable and it's very pleasurable. So True. to want that, I mean, is it's a it's a human thing. I feel like sometimes we sometimes will go seek after sex when we're mentally wanting a, a mental romantic relationship with someone. And sometimes those lines get blurred because you're, you're seeking something, but the other person might not be as receptive for those things that you're seeking. So I don't know. Things to think, think about, I guess. That's what, yeah. Could be it. You put me on the hot seat. No, me right too. Now. Me personally. I mean, I've yeah. had like tons of one night stands. I can't remember their names. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. don't even know if I I walk past them at a store yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even what, know who it was. Yeah, person, yeah. Or if 100%. they actually do come up to you and ask you, hey, remember me? I'm like, uh, no. no. Not really. Do you ever <laughs> makes feel... you feel kind of bad though? Like, damn, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sloop. I mean, honestly, that's what that dirty that's sloop. A, that's another thing that I was gonna ask. Though. I mean, do you? Because obviously, we have one side of the spectrum. Like, do you ever feel bad for? I don't know. Part sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be sleeping around. You know, like, I don't know. I like I. I you go back and lazy. forth. I go back and forth between okay, it's mm -hmm. like it doesn't matter, YOLO, we're animals, you know, fuck it. And then it's like Literally. no, it's like a spiritual experience that should be shared between people that care about each other. <laughs> Agree. I mean I think Do we're all think I think we're that? all human and we all want love and define that with whoever whomever you find out with is something that we all ultimately I think want deep 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 deep, deep inside <laughs> um, <laughs> Not I mean but in the moment I mean sometimes like oh, our, our animalistic brain kind of takes over and we we are people of the skin of the flesh and we might want immediate gratification um, which which is fulfilled by you know hookups with right. people or masturbation or whatever it may mm -hmm. be um, 
but I mean, I think we're ultimately still all kind of looking for love in whoever that may be, trans, straight, bi, I mean, there's a spectrum. Furries. I literally, go- furries, like, I mean, uh, cross-dressers, you know, just, I mean, whatever you like. I mean, <laughs> there was uh, actually, a, I was Googling different types of sexualities. There was a specific sexuality that only prefers uh, non-cisgender people, so trans people um, of that nature. Um, but I love trans women, honestly. Trans women are step. They're they're stepping it up. Bro, they're they're, they're running the up, world. Bro. Like yeah. they're beautiful women. I mean, like, and they are women. Despite what people might think, they are women. They are women. They're women. Um, I am woman. Yeah, I and mean, to be a woman in this world, bless your heart. <laughs> Good luck with that. I mean, that there is a tough role stepping into a woman's shoes for sure. Um, I think I think <laughs> it's just the people that are just not like genuinely like accepting like you said there shouldn't be though any sort of like uh, all these like labels and you know names for all these sexuality and it's just like isn't it just like love each other like love be nice and you know fuck yeah. but be it safely and then make connections right. if you want to make connections i don't know i i i know i'm so like i don't seem like i have such like a broad opinion because of like not being with like literally anyone but yeah, easy for you to say. She was been would, pressuring me to do this episode. For ah, weeks. me I said, too. You know how easy me it is too. for you to sit Because you are there. straight you and you are that normal. One partner in a heterosexual <laughs> relationship. It you is are vanilla. It's way harder as to it come gets. on here and talk about having sex with literally she just wants every to air all our dirty secrets out the drive. race. She said our views were not <laughs> high we're enough. Not. She said drag Ross being here. She set us up no, from the get go. I think it's just so important that more people talk about this specifically, especially because watching you two also goes through struggles and your I've sexuality. Been how, I've been struggling. Wouldn't you say it feels a little bit nicer talking to someone who does, has a bit 100%. more relation to what you're talking 100%. about? I, you obviously got all that heat on me just five seconds ago, right, so obviously I'm not on the one. Ass. But y'all are the ones talking to me and not each other. See what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted, though, to start this conversation. That's why it's so important. Yeah. I wanted our listeners to hear this, and I want more people to hear that it's okay. Your sexuality is okay. Right. If you're with one person, you're with 20 people, 40 people, whatever it is, 100. Just you, as long as you're safe. safe. And it's consensual. It's consensual. That's right. And if you want to use condom, which you should use condoms. You should. Um, you don't have to, but, you, should. you know, you should definitely use condoms. <laughs> but, you know, if everything falls into place, it's consensual, it's with the right person, the right time, and you guys are being safe, um, go for it. And you know? who cares what other people are going to think about you? That's what I honestly, every time I like see that people, like, say, I you? know, I know, and I got to, that's I, why I, you got to take the dive, have a threesome, right. do some, do some wild. That's what I was messaging on Craigslist about. <laughs> 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 but see, I'm not, that's, I'm, I'm definitely willing to try. It's also hard when you'd also have a partner who's not as uh, adventurous. And so that's why talking about it and normalizing it and keep talking about that's it. Right. It's got. It has to. That's what's where it's got to go. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, but it's funny. Like where where, where I'm from, two dudes had a threesome with a girl. You know, they didn't really do anything, and then like everybody called him gay. Everybody called him gay. That's where it was like. That's what it was like. Where you know, I, was from. I can't. It was like two dudes. You know. People, people just, we just need to stop the, stop the imagery of what you think is right. You know what I mean? As long as people are happy, you're in, it's a good, whatever, leave them alone. I don't know. I know it's hard for people to process because it's also the social norm, like telling your parents they have this image, you know, when they have you that you're going to marry this person with this image and, but it's changing. Our youth, our youth is changing. Most definitely. There was a show, was a show called, oh crap, I cannot remember it. It's on HBO Max. Not important, but it's a good okay. show. Basically, it has a cast that is like completely just full of young kids who are experiencing, um, you know, their sexual going through sexuality and um, different partners. There's lesbian couples, there's gay couples. There, I mean, I think our world's starting to open up to you know they're being different types of sexualities and not and not they're just being you have to be straight or it is. Yeah. Um, and so I think the world is getting a lot better. Actually, um. I did uh, teach before I was in nursing school, and so I did see like a lot of the kids being more receptive to people that were, you know, uh, lesbians or gay men or trans, even trans people. I actually had a student come out to me as trans um, one of my last few days of teaching, and that was one of the most like rewarding experiences of my life. I never had anyone ever come out to me, and that was a beautiful thing. 
Um, but I do think now that a lot of the kids now are more accepting of different people, different sexualities, and it's becoming a norm. And I love that our society is it, moving forward, but slowly, but, it's but sad, moving forward. Though. It, it, it's happy, but it's sad, obviously. It's where, like, I agree, we're moving forward. But, like, we're only talking, we, we graduated, it will be almost 10 years we graduated high school. And I couldn't, there was, like, no, no one publicly, really openly gay or right. lesbian. I mean, there was a couple. There was definitely a couple. Oh, gosh, but, like, people were in tough. theater. But, like. High school is tough. It's like, like. I don't think I ever would have came out in high school because you had a, a label on your back right. for the rest of your high school yeah. time. And you don't really want label. You want to fit in. Right. Um, but I had multiple uh, classmates, fellow students of mine, who are now trans men or trans women. Um, I think the, the transitioning into your, your real self or your sexual being after high school is the typical norm, I think. Like, that's where you really start to experiment sense. and yeah. do different things when you're not necessarily tied by your cliques of high school. Right. That's a that's a tough knit community. High school is Dude, rough. That's high school's I rough. I swear just my town and that's what's made it so difficult. Because I ran my damn town. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. They have an okay? image of you. I ran my town. Yeah. If I it would be the the community would not recover. They wouldn't recover from the news. They and, wouldn't. <laughs> well now we'll see. It would be the talk of every Baptist church in a three mile <laughs> radius. Sudden, they're gonna start. All the churches are gonna catch on fire. Sexual deviant. Honestly, that's how I feel for sure, hundred yeah. percent. It's funny because I made a video on TikTok, but I didn't post it because I'm scared and I don't talk about my sexuality. But I saw I made a video and it said, uh, you know, my whole life I thought I was a sexual deviant. And it turns out I might just be pansexual. Because honestly, straight up, I felt like a deviant for probably ever since I started doing you know straying from the norm i have just and it's eating me up really i didn't say the. i would not say the term in the closet if you asked me like where a shirt was i wouldn't say in the closet because i didn't want i wouldn't want people to catch on <laughs> i swear no. i'm being serious they're gonna say the know the sentence they're gonna be like bro why are you so why are you acting so sus about it i guess on that though I don't know if um, I think I think really having you here, Rosby, was really great. We were going back and forth on whether to do this um, with you or not, or how to set it up. And I and I really appreciate you coming out today and giving the time uh, to. <laughs> oh my of gosh! Of course, <laughs> of course, I appreciate you guys uh, for having me. Uh, I do like to say that gay people do not have an agenda. Um, <laughs> parents, uh, just if your kids are. Struggling with their sexuality, um, just be there for them. Just be a comfort for them. For real. Going through life is already tough. Going through middle school and high school is already rough. Um, so being a friend to your kid who are who are experiencing you know confusion about sexuality or going through those kind of thoughts and you know concepts in their mind, um, just you know be there for your kids and you know support them. Um, it's not nothing you did wrong. It's just something that, you know, they were born that way. Like Lady Gaga said, you know, some people were just born that way. That's right. I, I totally, just to like piggyback on that, like, I think my, my truly, one of my goals, not even goals, but I'm not, it's not, it shouldn't even be a goal. That's why it's so sad. I just hope one day, I truly do, when I have children, that when they come to me with whoever they want to like start dating, they just tell me and they'll like ask me if it's okay or think if it's I have to worry about a fear that I'm not going to be accepting i just hope they're super excited to tell me that they have found someone that they want to you know be interested in maybe doing a little something more with so i think just be there for people that's all you can do that's right rosby i appreciate speaking with you of course um you know maybe we'll end up together one day <laughs> Only fans <laughs> coming soon. Hey, yeah, for real, for real. I'm starting one. I'm leaning into. I'm leaning in. I've had three people in the last 24 hours ask me if I had one. I'm starting one for real. I recorded stuff earlier. Said your recommendations in for him, I guess. Guess I'll be your first, uh, you know, co-star. All right, <laughs> deal. Okay. Half profit, half profit. But, all right, all right. As always, thank you guys for listening to this episode with us. Um, as always, thank you for being here. I hope you guys have a great week. That's right. Peace. Have a good one. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Killed it.